Hi, this is Tweek. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. Today, I'm going to be adding some fun stitches to one of our soft fleecy blankets. So grab some yarn, your blanket, a scissors and a needle, and join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are super simple. You will need a pair of scissors. You will need a needle. The needle will need a big enough eye that it can hold the yarn. And it needs to be sharp enough to poke through the fleece. And most importantly, some fray check. It's a product that you dab onto the knot that you make in the quilt or the blanket. And it binds the fibers in the yarn and holds it tight so the knot doesn't come undone. And when you wash your fleece blanket, it comes out great every time. So here we go. This particular fabric is really fun. It has the ABCs and dinosaurs and colors. Perfect blanket for a little kid. And it is two pieces, so it's brilliant on one side, colorful on the other. And if you'd like to know how I stitch these together and the stitch that I use to make that crocheted edge, check the link out right here and you'll see. So first of all, I've protected my table because I'm going to be adding stitches, simple yarn stitches, into various spots on the blanket and I'm going to go for the eyeballs. So far I'm thinking that's what my plan is on this blanket. It's two yards, it's going to hang off the table, but I'm going to flatten it out. i got some in front of me here. And I've got an assortment of yarns and I'm going to pick a color and I'm going to stick with the bigger dinosaurs. I want every six inches or so to have like if you're doing a quilt, which I don't quilt, but I watch some of the tutorials on how to do a hand tied knot. And that's what we're doing here. We're taking the fabric and adding little knots. I'm doing it mostly for decoration, but it will help to hold the whole blanket together. And little kids give blankets a lot of use. So I'm going to show you first how to thread this needle in case you don't know. And let's pick a color. I'm gonna go with Hmm, a light blue. Let's try a light blue. And I'm going to go for these light blue dinosaurs. They're nicely spaced across. And, and my goal here is to get many different colors in with these dinosaurs. So I'm just going to get a line of yarn and snip off some. And I'm going to go about halfway up. And the way I thread this needle is to pinch the yarn at the center there and I just rub it back across the needle a few times to flatten it out a little bit and push it through the eye. Easy peasy. There you go. Done. And I'm going to make this uh, two pieces of yarn. I'm going to go through. So I've got my yarn on the needle and I'm going to pick a dinosaur eye and I'm going to very carefully wiggle my needle through the, the two pieces of fleece. It comes out the bottom and then I'm going to wiggle it back up. See where that eye is there? And because this is so thick, I use the mat and the fabric to just push that through. Now here comes the wiggly part that just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And there you go. Now I've got my yarn I'm going to pull through. There's going to be some fancy eyed dinosaurs, aren't they? And I want just a couple inches left there and then I'm going to, where'd you go scissors? Oh, and I'm going to make a snip. Done. Let's find the next one. The fleece is really good at staying in place. It doesn't bubble up much. This is mostly just for decoration and for fun. And so I'm going to poke the needle through. Got a nice sharp needle. And then pull it back. See the little eyeball? Gives you a little spot to come back and then push through. I'm using the fabric and the mat to push that through. And just wiggle the needle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle through the fleece. There we go. And I'm going to pull that yarn through. Leave a couple inches and 
give it a snap. Now I don't have to worry about that pulling out because the fleece is so tight. Um, so on to the next one. Let's find another one and use up this yarn here. I want another one. Here's another one right here. We poke the needle through and you're just hitting, you can feel yourself hitting the mat on the bottom. And then poke up back through that eye. Scissor that off and you can see what's happening on the other side. What you're going to do on this plain side of fabric is you're going to add little colorful dots where the eyes are on the other side. I think that's going to be fun. That's why I'm using a bunch of different colors. So we've got three little guys with the light blue. Let's find another. Oh, look at here. Here's a stegosaurus. Oh, triceratops. I'm going again with the color of the dinosaur is the color of yarn I'm going to use. So push the needle through. You can feel it scraping on the pad. You don't want to scrape your table. Push it through the other side. Now let me show you. You take these and you tie your shoes twice. You make a, a knot. And then you make another knot. And you're done with this part of it. So I come back through and any place that I put the little yarn bit I'm going to tie it twice. Okay, I got one, two, the triceratops, and there's one over here, four. Oh, this is going to be so much fun when all the colors are added to it. Okay, we've got those guys. I'm just going to leave them be for right now while I continue on with another color. Mmm, I'm thinking red would be nice. Oh, I've got so many to go for. Let's try this T-Rex here. Let's give him... Let's see, we've got this pretty green here. Ooh, that would be nice. Let's do some green on this guy. So take a bit of yarn and snip off a piece. And take the yarn and just rub it a few times. That's how I do it. And then send it through the eye Pull it through, and we're ready to go again. I'm going for this T-Rex, so I'm gonna, I can feel the needle scraping on the pad. Come up on the other side of the eye, and leave yourself enough so that you can make a couple knots. Snip. Let's find another T-Rex, aha! One of the things I liked about this fabric was the dinosaurs are spaced in a way that makes the dots are gonna look really nice when this is all done. They're gonna. Look nice on the front and on the back side. Stick the needle in, feel it on that mat. Come back the other side of the eyeball and push through and then wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle that yarn through there. And make your little shoestring or shoelace ties. One, two. This is the old fashioned way people used to do quilts to hand tie a quilt, and that's the way our grandmothers did it. I'm not a quilter, but I like this idea of augmenting the fleece and having some fun with it. And I like the brontosaurus, he's orange. I think I have some orange over here. It's a rusty color, but I think it'll complement. So let's take a little bit of the orange and do a couple of these brontosauruses. I'm gonna push through that one side of the eye, and I'm going to feel, see, you feel the mat beneath you, bring it up on the other side of the eye, and use the mat and the needle and just punch it through. You can tie it off right now if you want to. Keep going. Another brontosaurus, here's one. I feel the mat coming up on the other side of the eye, and I am punching through. and then wiggle. Now what I'm gonna do is match up more colors with my dinosaurs. And if you flip this over, you see the little dots starting to appear. So I'm going to go through the whole blanket and add the colors. So here I go.
so I'm trying to make sure I got all the little dinosaurs taken care of. And next step is to snip all these little edges. And before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of fray check. Now, fray check is a glue for fabric that you put just a little dot on each knot. And the fray check actually binds the fibers in that knot in the yarn. We drop just a little bit of fray check on my knots. Make sure I catch them all. It takes a few minutes for it to dry. And then I'm going to come back through when that's dry and snip off the edges on the yarn all the way through the whole blanket. Got that one, that one. And that way I can move the whole piece off the table and keep going. You have to determine how long you want these little strands to be. I'm going to pull them in quite, a, quite tight because I don't want much there. There. <laughs> Little dino eyelashes, huh? <laughs> you don't have to worry about those knots coming out because the free check takes care of, care of that. Isn't that fun? Okay. And up here. All right. So I'm going to go through the whole blanket. Free check. Snip off the excess. And here I go. I gotta come down. Let's see a few more over here. A little more fray check on there. I think that might be the last one. And we'll let this dry a bit. And we'll let the fray check dry and then we'll give it a check. I think the fray check is dry. It dries pretty fast. And let's see how this looks on the back. It should be real subtle, yeah. Just little, little dots of where we put in the yarn. It helps all, all of it hold together. And let's see, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know somebody's gonna love this. So let me show you. And there you have it. This is gorgeous. And I know a little guy that's going to love it as much as I do and as much as I love him. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you ring the bell so you know when our next episode is coming up of Tweaks with Tweak. Until then, send a hug, take a fleece blankie, and add a little something special to it. See you again.